Low testosterone levels are associated with low sex drive, erectile dysfunction, depression, difficulties with concentration, fatigue, moodiness, and even loss of muscular strength. Yes, there are many lifestyle factors that play a crucial role in your body's ability to produce testosterone. But what if there's a supplement that can actually increase your testosterone levels? Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. If biohacking, nootropics, and optimizing your brain performance interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. If there's one hormone you should have enough in your body, it's testosterone. Well, if you're a man, of course. While too low levels of testosterone can cause myriad of problems that I mentioned before, such as mood problems, depression, fatigue, a lack of energy, and sex drive, having too much of testosterone can also cause different problems, such as aggression, irritability, and sleep apnea. So you have to find the right balance in between. Sadly, lots of men suffer from low testosterone levels due to their poor lifestyle. Yes, as a matter of fact, lack of sleep, too much stress and anxiety, and poor diet can actually decrease your testosterone levels. Now, in the perfect world, you would just sleep longer, get rid of anxiety and stress, and eat better. And voila, your testosterone levels would be perfect. But as you probably noticed, we don't live in a perfect world. So the question is, are there any supplements out there that can help you? And as a matter of fact, they are. Now, to help you out, I split this video into three parts. In the first part, I'll talk about the crucial micronutrients you need to take for optimal testosterone production. In the second part, we can look at the herbal extracts and supplements that you can supplement for optimal testosterone production. And in the last part, I'm gonna share with you my favorite supplement for boosting testosterone levels. Now, I suggest you don't skip till the end because before you start actually supplementing those compounds, you need to know a couple of important things. By the way, guys, what's your favorite testosterone boosting supplement? Let me know in the comment section below. So the first compound I wanna talk about is zinc. Why? Well, because zinc is one of those crucial minerals you need to have enough in your body for optimal testosterone production. How do I know that? Well, because many studies show that zinc deficiency has been shown to reduce testosterone levels. But as soon as you increase your zinc intake, your testosterone levels can increase as well. And this has been shown both in animal studies and human studies. Now, one problem with zinc is that it's lost through sweat. So if you're working out a lot to build your muscles and of course to increase testosterone production, you also probably sweat a lot and this means you lose lots of zinc. And therefore, it is important to supplement it or get enough of it through food. And in addition to that, a zinc deficiency also decreases the expression of androgen receptors by 59%. And therefore, it is really important to get enough of zinc into the body through either diet or supplementation. Now, if you're gonna supplement zinc, the optimal daily dosage is somewhere between seven and 15 milligrams. And personally, I take about 15 milligrams every second day. So this is about 7.5 milligrams per day. By the way, guys, if you take any other minerals, such as calcium, iron, or magnesium, make sure that the total amount of those minerals is below 800 milligrams. Otherwise, the absorption of zinc would decrease. Now, the second important micronutrient is boron. Now, compared to zinc, boron is less researched. However, certain studies show that it may be very important to supplement it to increase testosterone levels. Now, we don't know exactly how it works, so we don't know the exact mechanism, but studies show that it can actually increase testosterone production also in healthy men. For example, one particular study showed an increase in free testosterone after supplementing boron, but sadly, another one failed to replicate those results. Based on the current research, there seems to be an interplay between zinc, magnesium, and boron. Now, the recommended daily intake is about three to 10 milligrams. Now, personally, I don't supplement boron, but if my testosterone levels would be too low, I would definitely consider adding it to my daily supplement stack. By the way, guys, did you know that one of the most potent testosterone boosting supplements is called horny goat wheat? Yep, you heard that right. Now, before we talk about it, let's check out some other crucial compounds that you should consider supplementing. The next one is vitamin D3. Now, in one particular study, men were given 3,332 international units of vitamin D3 for one year, and they had quite a dramatic increase of testosterone levels from 10.7 to 13.4 nanomoles per liter, which is quite a significant increase. Now, what we know from the studies is that vitamin D3 somehow normalizes the androgen status, which leads to normalized testosterone levels. Now, we don't know any other mechanisms of how vitamin D3 actually works, but since it is so important for well-being, for mood, and for your immunity, I would definitely consider supplementing vitamin D3 daily. 
Now personally, I take about 4,000 international units of vitamin D3 during the winter and then about half of that during the summer and other months. So about 2,000 international units per day. Now the best thing you can do is to measure vitamin D3 levels once or twice per year, just that you're on the safe side and you know that you're taking the right dosage of vitamin D3. Now I actually just measured my vitamin D3 levels and I'm gonna post a video about that very soon. So if you're interested, then subscribe below and you'll be notified when the new video is published. And if you're not interested, you can still subscribe below. Now let's talk about nootropics and herbs that can help you boost your testosterone levels. The first one I wanna talk about is called Coleus forscoli. Coleus forscoli is a herb used in traditional Ayurvedic medicine. You can find it in many fat burning supplements, well, because it can, of course, help you burn more fat. But studies show that it can also increase your testosterone levels by increasing the amount of CAMP in your body. Now, CAMP is a molecule called cycling adenosine monophosphate that acts as an important signaling pathway. Now, besides that, Coleus forscoli can also boost your cognition, especially because it inhibits acetylcholinesterase. And acetylcholinesterase is an enzyme that degrades our learning neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. Now, the optimal daily dosage seems to be 250 milligrams taken two times per day, and this extract should contain about 10% of forscoline. Now, personally, I never took Coleus forscoli as a testosterone boosting supplement, but more as a cognitive enhancer. And so far, I had pretty good results with it. Now, we cannot talk about testosterone boosting supplements without mentioning ashwagandha, the king of Ayurvedic herbs. Now, ashwagandha is one compound that without any doubt increases testosterone levels also in healthy people, in healthy male in this case. And the studies show that it can do that if you take 300 milligrams of ashwagandha in the morning and then 300 milligrams in the afternoon as well. And a funny fact, people who were given so much ashwagandha were able to increase bench press by 40 pounds, which is a very big increase. Now, ashwagandha actually directly stimulates thyroid gland that produces thyroid hormones, which then has the direct ability to increase testosterone production. But in addition to that, ashwagandha can also reduce your cortisol levels by up to 30%. Now, the optimal daily dosage is about 300 to 600 milligrams per day. Now, personally, I take about 500 milligrams of ashwagandha every second day, and I have amazing results with it. I'm less stressed, I'm less anxious, and there's some other benefits, which you can all watch in my video about ashwagandha up here. The next compound I wanna mention is called Tongat Ali. Now, Tongat Ali, also called Long Jack, is a very potent aphrodisiac, and I can tell you, it really works. Now, Tongat Ali can block estrogen receptors and because of that, increase testosterone levels in infertile men. But the one study done in a healthy population failed to show any benefits. Now, while we know more about Tongat Ali, it's really hard to make any claims. But if my testosterone levels were too low, I would probably consider supplementing this potent plant. And if you decide to take it, the optimal daily dosage is about 200 to 300 milligrams per day of a 100 to 1 extract. The next compound I want to talk about is Mucuna pruriens. Now, Mucuna pruriens is a bean that contains L-dopa, which is a dopamine precursor, and it's great for boosting your cognitive performance. Now, in addition to that, two studies show that supplementing Mucuna pruriens can increase testosterone levels in infertile men. Sadly, we lack studies in healthy men. Now, generally, this is a great supplement to boost your dopamine levels if your dopamine levels are too low. Personally, I've been supplementing with Mucuna Prunes for quite some time, and I didn't get the best results, mainly because my dopamine levels are pretty high. But if you suffer from low dopamine levels or low testosterone levels, you may try Mucuna Prunes with some R compounds that we mentioned before. Now, the optimal daily dosage of Mucuna Prunes is about five grams. Then there is fenugreek. Fenugreek is a herb used in Indian and Arabic countries for increasing libido. Now studies show that supplementing 500 milligrams of fenugreek per day can actually increase your testosterone levels. Now the issue is that more modern studies were not able to replicate the old studies, so we are not really sure what's going on. Because of that, fenugreek would not be my favorite compound to take as an individual compound if I wanted to increase my testosterone levels, but if my levels were too low, I'll probably add it to a more complex nootropic or supplement stack. And the recommended dosage is about 500 to 600 milligrams per day. And finally, horny goat wheat, or so-called epimedium. Now, there is no doubt that horny goat wheat has the best name of all the supplements that we talked about today. And what I can tell you is that this is, as the name says, a really potent aphrodisiac. But can it also increase your testosterone levels? 
Well, studies in rats actually show that yes, it can increase testosterone levels, but we lack human studies. So if you need an aphrodisiac that can potentially increase the testosterone levels, why not try horny goat wheat? Well, you can take 900 to 1,500 milligrams per day to achieve the optimal results. But again, I wouldn't take it as an individual compound, I would probably combine it with other more potent and proven supplements. So is there one supplement that you can buy right away that can increase your testosterone levels? Now, as you know, I'm a big fan of premium high quality supplements that are developed by trustworthy supplement brands. Because way too many people experiment at home with many compounds that they don't really understand, they buy low quality extracts, and they usually get exactly the wrong results. And that's why it's much better to buy a pre-made supplement that is high quality, that is well researched, and that is effective. And if there's one supplement that I would recommend, there's this one, Tea Drive by Inoceps. Now they were kind enough to send me a couple of bottles. Wait, why did they send me so many bottles? Well, anyway, so why do I think that this supplement is actually so good? Well, first of all, it's because it does contain a very high level of vitamin D and zinc. And we mentioned before why these compounds are so important. It also contains ashwagandha, the most potent of the mentioned compounds on the list. And it actually contains a really potent extract called KSM 66. And this is the best quality ashwagandha you can actually find on the market and has been used in many scientific studies. In addition to that, it also contains uh, fenugreek, which we mentioned before, it contains colas for scoli root extract, and it contains boron. And in addition to that, there is horny goat wheat inside, but also niacin, magnesium, uh, tribulus, and of course, also boron. So most of the supplements that we mentioned before, you can find in this supplement. The dosages are basically optimal, and the extracts available are really, really high quality. Now the brand promises that this supplement will amplify your muscle growth, improve sexual function, and also supercharge your libido. And based on my research, that's exactly what you can expect from it. Actually, just after a couple of days of supplementing, my libido increased dramatically, and my soon-to-be wife can confirm that. So the question is, can this tea drive supplement really increase the testosterone levels? Well, if you take three capsules per day, which is the optimal daily dosage, I see no reason why this supplement wouldn't increase your testosterone levels. So if you want to try tea drive, I suggest you take the capsules in the afternoon for two reasons. First of all, there's ashwagandha inside, and ashwagandha is a potent anxiolytic that can make you slightly too relaxed, and it's better to experience that in the afternoon when you're not working, instead of experiencing in the morning when you should be really productive and focused. And the second reason is that if horny goat wheat kicks in too early in the day, when you're in the office, for example, you may suffer from severe side effects called marital problems. Now, don't tell me I didn't warn you about that. So one bottle like this costs about 70 bucks, but if you subscribe, you can save up to 25%. So if you wanna boost your testosterone levels, I would definitely recommend Tea Drive. It contains top quality compounds that are well dosed and are really high quality extracts. And I think it's definitely worth the price. There are links below if you wanna order it right away. Now, many people with low testosterone levels also suffer from poor cognition. They have bad memory, they can focus, they have low motivation, low energy levels, and so on. And if you're one of those, you should definitely consider taking the most potent nootropics that can improve your cognitive and brain performance. Now, if you wanna learn about the most potent nootropics on the market, watch my next video up here. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.